there's your boy Mini, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my $5,000 keyboard collection. Basically guys, I have hundreds of keyboards that I've used in my lifetime, so basically today I got all of them that I can find, and I put them on one table, and I'll be showing you guys every keyboard that I have. I spent thousands of dollars on keyboards, so this is going to be insane. This is not all the keyboards I've used, I've used hundreds more than this, but either broke them or lost them, so this is only the ones I could find. But yeah guys, I have some insane keyboards here, some ugly keyboards, and I just have some weird stuff on this table. So before I get into it, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Use code one mom TSU in the Fortnite item shop. But yeah, guys, subscribe to my channel, help me support your kids subscribers, and let's get straight into this video, boys. Let's go. Alright, boys, as you guys can see, this is the keyboard collection right here. This whole table is filled up with keyboards. So we're gonna start from the back and we're gonna slowly make our way all the way over there. Alright, boys, so we're gonna start right here, guys. We got the Rock Hat Vulcan TKO. I use the keyboard because um, Mr. Savage uses it, so I got it, and then it's actually a pretty nice keyboard. It's around $200, I would say, and it's, it's a TKL, so it's pretty expensive, and yeah, so it's a pretty nice keyboard right here. Next up, we got a foldable keyboard. Um, look, I don't know why I have this. This is literally trash, but like, never play Fortnite with this. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you guys from my experience, don't ever use this keyboard to play Fortnite. Next up, we got the... Next up, we got the Razer Huntsman Mini right here. I put some custom keycaps on it, and this is around sixty dollars. It's pretty nice, but uh, these are purple switches on this keyboard, so you guys want to hear it? Pretty nice and clicky. But yeah, guys, that's the Razer Huntsman Mini, around sixty dollars. Next up, guys, we got a Office keyboard. I do not know why I put this on here. It's literally a normal library keyboard, bro. I need to move on because this is trash. Next up, we got the Ducky One Two Mini, guys. This used to be my old keyboard until I switched, but it's pretty nice, as you guys can see. It's a mechanical keyboard, blue switches, but pretty overrated. I don't like it anymore, but yeah, it used to be one of my favorite keyboards. This is around $200 or more, so yeah, this was really expensive. Next up, we got a typewriter keyboard. This keyboard is actually a nightmare to play on. As you can see, the keys are circular on it, so it's pretty hard to like actually play Fortnite with. And this was around $60, so yeah. Next up, we got a random gaming keyboard from Amazon. I do not know where this came from, but I just found it in the little keyboard stack that I have. So yeah, I do not know what this is. Someone please, if you know what this is, just comment down below. Next up, we got a hexagon keyboard right here. I have yet to use this, but it looks so weird. And honestly, I don't ever want to use this, so I'm going to leave this here. I don't want to talk about that any longer. Next up, we got the Apex Pro TKL right here. Pretty nice keyboard. I broke it. Um, I don't know why it's broken somehow. Probably because I uh, probably smashed it, but yeah, it doesn't work anymore, but this is about $200, so yeah. Apex Pro TKL is one of the most famous keyboards. And guys, look at all these keyboards. We got a lot more to go. Next up, we got a Razer keyboard. I do not know the name of this keyboard. Someone comment down below what the name of this keyboard is because I do not know. But yeah, it's a pretty nice keyboard. I've used it once and it's actually really, really good. So yeah, I'm, I think I might main this keyboard soon. I might try it out a little bit more to see if I like it. Next up, we got a Razer Hunter Mini Red Switches, but with no keycaps, boys. I made a video on this and you guys actually loved it, so um, that's why I have no keycaps. And th these are painful, bro. I, do, I don't even want to touch it anymore. Next up, we got a Logitech keyboard. I do not know what this is. Like, I, I don't know half the keyboards that I own. That's pretty crazy, but yeah, we got a Logitech keyboard right here. Um, I hope I hope it's good. It's, it looks like a pretty good keyboard, a mechanical keyboard, but yeah. Next up, we got a little weird U-shaped keyboard with keys on it. I played Fortnite on this. If you guys are wondering why that keycap is missing, it's because I smashed it, so that's why it's gone. Probably decreased the value by like 20%. Next up, we got a half keyboard right here. I don't even want to talk about it. Let's go to the next one because that has caused me nightmares at night, bro. Next up, we got the greatest keyboard of all time, boys. We got the Booga keyboard right here. As you guys noticed, it's my favorite keyboard, and it totally hasn't made me rage in, in the past. This keyboard, you know, it's the greatest keyboard of all time, but it never made me rage, you know. I love this keyboard, bro. Booga, thank you. Next up, we got another Ducky 12 Mini Red Switches, but with no keycaps, all right? So we did this for another video, and why am I touching it, bro? I don't want to cause myself that pain again. Next up, we got a green giant keyboard here. Oh my god, this feels horrible. I... Guess I'm about to break this, bro. We got another half keyboard here. We got two of them. And then in the back right there, boys, we got the Clicks keyboard, the first release he ever did on the keyboard. That is that is it right there. We actually paid like we paid like $40 for that because it was like literally uh that keyboard was like literally sold out everywhere, the Clicks keyboard, so we had to pay like $400 for it. Alright boys, we got to put the first half of the keyboard now. It's on to the next half. The next half is just weird keyboard boys. So get ready because uh, it's actually pretty weird the keyboards that I have. You guys don't, don't make fun of me, bro. All right, boys. Next up, we got the Clicks 
classic candy keyboard. This is the current keyboard that I use. It is a really nice keyboard. I really love it. I think I'll never switch from this keyboard because it's literally too good. I don't even know what switches these are, but yeah, this is around like $200. Next up, we got the worst reviewed keyboard on Amazon. I bought this for a video and I had a really, really bad experience with this, so this is around like, I don't even know how much, but it's the worst reviewed keyboard on Amazon, I think. Next up, we got a giant keyboard right here made for kids, and I also made a video on this, and let's just say, oh, I don't even want to say anything about it, bro. That's how bad it is. And then over there, we got a normal, like, I don't even know what that is, bro, to be honest. And then, guys, what the heck is this? We got a wooden keyboard. How does it even get in there, bro? Who got this? But somehow it's here, but it actually sounds pretty nice, bro. I might use this. Next up, we got a wireless keyboard that is probably used for, like, typing S's and stuff, but... Bro, get that out of there. Next up, we got a little kid's typewriter right here. Oh, I remember this keyboard, guys. It literally cost me so much trouble. I literally almost broke it. Next up, we got a random white keyboard. I do not know what this is, but, uh, yeah, this, it's pretty trash. I remember using this. It's bad. Next up, we got the world's smallest keyboard right here. I used this keyboard for a prank once to prank my older brother, and he actually got so mad, so, uh, that video was a bang. Go check it out. I posted that, like, two years ago, but this is, like, the world's smallest keyboard or something, like, one of the smallest keyboards that they have, so, yeah, look how small this is, bro. Next up, we got a random gaming keyboard, and, uh, what the heck is this company, bro? I do not know what this company is. But, yeah, guys, that is probably, I think that's everything completed, like, my whole setup. Now, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys my most expensive keyboard, my favorite keyboard, my least favorite, and I'm going to be showing you guys stuff like that, so, yeah. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite keyboard out of all these keyboards, I'm going to be showing you guys which one I like the most. All right, boys, there's two top contenders in my favorite keyboard uh, competition right here. First one is obviously the Clicks Cotton Candy Keyboard, and the other one is the Apex Pro TKL. These keyboards are both really expensive, they're both really nice, and literally a lot of people use them, but guys, comment down below which one you guys would rather use, the Clicks Cotton Candy Keyboard or the Apex Pro TKL. Personally, I like this keyboard better. Uh, this is my favorite keyboard right here that I own at the moment, the Clicks Cotton Candy Keyboard. It's just so nice. I love the feel of it, and everything is just too good on this, bro. Alright boys, so we got my favorite keyboard right here. Now, I'm going to show you guys my most expensive keyboard, alright? And the most expensive keyboard that I've paid for has to be the Clix V1 keyboard right here, alright? This is the first keyboard he released. And it was completely sold out, so we had to buy it for like double the price, which is like $400. And that's why it's really, really expensive, so this keyboard is a really, really priced possession, bro. We spent too much money on this. Now guys, we're going to get onto my most hated keyboard. Let's just say there's a lot of keyboards that I hate here, but my most hated one out of all of these has to be the Booga keyboard, bro. This keyboard has caused me so much rage in my life, so much, like, I literally, oh my god, I don't even know what to say, but this keyboard is literally my most hated keyboard. I don't know why I still have it, but I might have to throw, I might have to throw it in the dumpster after I'm done with this video, bro. This keyboard is literally my most hated keyboard. Next, guys, our final thing is we're going to be going to the most weird keyboard that I own, all right? And for that, guys, I have a lot of weird keyboards, but I'm going to have to go with this wooden keyboard right here. I do not know what this is. This is little. I think it's built out of, like, an actual wood tree, bro. What the heck? Like, I don't know how it actually sounds pretty good, but this is so weird. How is it built out of wood? So, yeah, guys, that was my keyboard collection. Let me know if you guys enjoyed that video. Um, yeah, so th this was pretty fun to make. I have to put all the keyboards back to where I found them now, and this is an actual banger video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Use code one mama tc on the phone at item shop. Help me with 4K subscribers, because that would literally mean everything to me, guys. So, don't forget, drop a like, subscribe, because you can unsubscribe whenever you want. And, uh, yeah, boys, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.